Inside her manufacturing studio in Hull, Carrie Kipp is hard at work preparing another batch of her scented passion. Carrie, is this your candle factory? It is. Welcome to the candle kitchen. <laughs> and welcome to the world headquarters of Minot Candles. We make candles and room and linen sprays to scent your home. Perched high above Hull Bay, Carrie doesn't have to look far for inspiration. This one that we're making today is called Cliff Walk, and it's our bestseller. It has sandalwood, patchouli, and jasmine in it. The idea for Carrie's journey into the scented candle business all started while on a trip to Europe with her husband. Noticing that the food and drink was all prepared with far less chemicals than what she was finding in the U.S., well, it got her thinking about what she was bringing into her own home. For me, my mom always had a candle burning growing up, and it gave me that sense of warmth and comfort. Um, and so finding a non-toxic version of a candle was really important, not only for me, but to make sure that my mom had something okay in her home as well. In 2019, Carrie began to work in the basement of her home to develop a soy wax candle with just the right blend of chemical-free natural oils. And by 2020, Minot Light had been lit. In um, 2020, when we started, myself in my basement, I made about 500 candles. Today, 2024, we're on track to do about 20,000 this year. Is it moving faster than you thought? Yes, it is. Um, I'm so happy and grateful to say that it is. In just four short years, Minot candles and room sprays can be found in boutiques all across the U.S., as well as independent department stores in Europe. Are you outgrowing your space already? We are, yes. Kerry says the key to success of her company, which of course shares the name with the famous lighthouse just offshore, is her commitment to quality and the environment. Our wicks are 100% cotton wicks, so there's no lead or zinc, which can be found in a lot of um, mass-produced candle wicks. The ingredients in our candles is super important to us, but also the sustainability. We want to keep nature in the sea healthy and clean, so doing our part to stay as sustainable as we possibly can, of course. Tough place for a manufacturing All facility, right. by the way. <laughs> Back to the name Minot and the special connection Kerry has to that South Shore Lighthouse. She was engaged, married, and her daughter recently christened, all within sight of Minot Light. A light, by the way, that flashes the identifier 143, also known by some as I Love You. I feel relaxed just watching that now. Oh, that's <laughs>